you've you've had some of the best WrestleMania matches. Yeah, I mean, top to bottom. Yeah, Rock Cena. You yeah, know? Rock Cena. Now, once in a lifetime that didn't happen once. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, you know, and I know there was it was this is a funny little quick story. Like, you know, here's Cena like busting his ass for ten years. You know, like running the company because you know, you know, when I did the Rock and Hogan match. It was like Hogan passed. It was like Andre passing the torch to Hogan. Yeah. Hogan passing the torch to Rock. Yeah. When Rock got the torch, he shortly took off and left us and went to Hollywood. Yeah. Right. And so it was like, yeah, thanks, Rock. <laughs> you know. So and he did great, and he's uh, and I'm so proud of him what he's accomplished in Hollywood now. So, you know, and in coming up to that, you know, it was just when you see the torch is passed on, it was just amazing to work these matches with you know like. Rock and then and then Stone Cold getting the torch pretty much his career started right after that WrestleMania, right? Yeah. So it's just it was just unbelievable to be a part of that match. And um, you know, like uh where was I getting at at that? It's so Rock Cena and you were said Rock Cena and going back to yeah, Rock Cena, it was you know, Cena was busting his ass for ten years on the company, working all the time, working hard. You know, Rock comes back in from Hollywood. And Rock's going over. Yeah. You know, and it, I could see the little damper in John, you know. He was a little, like, kind of, uh, you know, like, I've been carrying his company. And, you know, and, and Cena was busting his ass for 10 years. And he was a very generous guy, always overseas, paying everybody's hotel bar bills. Every, all the drinks were on Cena. You wow. Know, he'd always take care of the crew that worked hard for him. And, um, you know, then when Rock came in and he went over, Rock went over. I could see there was a little bit of, you know, a little dissension there, you know. And um, I, I felt bad. You know, I felt bad because it was like, and much as I love The Rock, I was thinking, man, this is, you know. So I remember then then part two comes up, Rock, Cena, and, um, and I didn't have that match. But Cena was going over. Mm. And The Rock comes up. He's like, Chi-Chi, because he always changed my nickname from Coyote to Chi-Chi. You know, all these years it was Coyote, and then he changed it to GJ. He's like, you got my match? I said, no, you're doing the job tonight, Rock. I'm not doing your match. <laughs> he goes, ah. Oh. <laughs> he goes, that was good. That was good. I'm like, yeah. I don't want to count your shoulders. <laughs> WWE released footage, like, very recently of what was said between Rock and Cena after that first match. Right. And they, like, dubbed it with subtitles. Because there was a lot of like Talking. animosity yeah. leading up to that match, right? Like right. Cena was saying some very some stiff, nice things. stiff stuff. Right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And then after the match, they're in the ring, and Cena is saying, I, I'm, "I'm like I did this because of you, because it's you." And like they shared this, like really, I'll show you it's afterwards. Moment, right. It's just a cool moment to see. Yeah. It was. It was. It went on for a little bit too, right? It did, and you can tell Rock's looking at Cena, going. Like, What's this all about? Right, because it was weird because I was wondering where Cena was going with it. I didn't even know where Cena was going with it. And then Rock's like, right. I did this because of you. I believe in you. I believe in, you know. The company, yeah, the fans. Yeah, I was like, wow, yeah. what a moment. Yeah, it was a moment. That was.